Now, th this is just so you guys know what you're seeing here. This is not going to happen. No, no. This is not going to happen where you say, oh, we're going to let you go. We're going to do all this. No, you murdered me five times at Intel Corporation. People are going to jail for what you did to me. You can't just say, oh, well, we did all this to him. We found out he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, no, we're going to let him go. No, I'm not going to come out and shake FBI's hands in some kind of meeting where I see people alive that I thought had died. No, that stuff's not going to happen, guys. Not going to be on here shaking the FBI's hands. Somebody's going to jail for what you guys did to me. The Lord God's going to make sure of that. You can have all kinds of fake news. If the tornadoes in Oklahoma City are fake, they're fake. I don't know. I know the one in Austin, Texas was real. I went down there and checked it. The one in Austin, Texas was real. That one's in the Bible. You guys fake all kinds of things. You lie about it. And then you say, oh, it's just a joke. What you did to me was murder. Till Fan, you murdered me five times. Han Wong is a witness. Everybody at HEB knew what you were doing. I saw people terrified, Till Fan. You laughed, you joked, you had your fun. Cindy Fan knows. I heard her use the Lord's name in vain. Jameet, he knows. Everybody at Intel knows. That's why you keep locking me up to shut me up. You're going to prison, Till Fan. That stuff's not happening. Have a good day. Um, room 118. Okay, room 118. So, are you there? No, I'm okay. calling at the lobby. Um, I work at the front desk. Okay, so what's the problem there? Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, well, the housekeeping, when they're about to clean the room, uh -huh. um, well, they knocked the room, like, for three times, and then he didn't open the door, and then finally opened. Okay. One of the housekeeping, you know, like, they he checked the guy, like, Maybe he's dead because, um, yeah. so how old, Do you know about how old approximate age the patient is? Maybe like 50s. Okay, male or female? Male. Okay, and so do you, do you know if they're conscious? You don't know or? No, because they just, you know, when we opened the door, mm -hmm. they didn't go like closer, you know, we, they didn't. Okay, do you guys, or, so you guys don't know what's going on there? No, because the guy. Do you have a like, defibrillator? Uh, Shock no. box for the heart. Do you guys have one? No. no. Okay, so uh, today is February. February, uh, oh, it's March 1st. March 1st. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know where it Wednesday, went. March 1st. Uh, a, a lot more furniture all crazed about here, but they, they moved pretty much all uh, of it. Uh, we have some couches in here, right here, and right here, and this is where we were sitting watching TV. No. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that this didn't happen. Um, if it did, it's, it's your fault. Uh, I know you post fake news all the time. You do. I know the tornado in Austin, Texas. I saw the Bank of America destroyed. I saw it with my own eyes. I went up there, they were about to tear it down and make it disappear. The Lord God made me go up there and see it, because everything else was cleaned up and gone. Um, but I saw the Bank of America destroyed. Um, now this, maybe this is old news. Maybe this is something that happened a long time ago. I, I don't know. Uh, all I know is Charles Ray was making fun of this kind of stuff. In Norman, Oklahoma, in the Oklahoma City area this morning, assessing the damage paths from possible tornadoes. Todd Lindley with the National Weather Service Norman office joins us right now. Uh, the office had a real close call last night with the tornado. The storm got a little too close for comfort. Todd, as you join us, what happened last night as you're forecasting for these storms, getting ready to put out your alerts, did you guys go into storm mode where you were seeking shelter or were you just monitoring it as it moved close to the office in Norman? Well, good morning, Amy. Thanks for having me. Uh, we definitely were in storm mode. We did not take shelter here at the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Norman. We were issuing warnings, and I can't tell you 
The tornado began about one to two miles to our southwest and then really intensified just as it passed the National Weather Center here on the South Research Campus of the University of Oklahoma. Our staff and our forecasters were busily issuing warnings and uh, making sure people uh, heeded those and took shelter in advance of the tornado. You'll remember back uh, 2011 when there was a similar... Uh, so we know it's before 2011. This is before 2011. Or after 2011. After 2011. We know that. Around that time there in Norman at your office, you replaced the radars. I'd come there to uh, visit the office, and I believe that was the same timing. I'm not positive. We know it's the South it's University of Oklahoma. Eric, because I said that, they said it's Norman. So I know that, Eric, because that's where it looked like Tanya was following me. That exit. That's the same exit. That's the same exit. It looked like she was following me. Because Charles Ray mentioned that back in 1998. What was it? Uh, 24th and... Here. I can't tell you Highway 9? 24th and Highway 9, I think that's what he said. 24th and Highway 9. Because because there was a newscast I saw the other day, someone was on Forest Lay, Forest Road, Forest Lay, something like that. And it was by Highway 9 and uh, um, 24th Street. We're going to find that video in a minute. Some aerial damage right now. It, it really does look at, like it was quite destructive. A lot of roofs ripped off. This is also will be out today. What exactly will they be looking for? The Mustang, which is on the southwest side of the Oklahoma City Metro. So Mustang got hit. Because I drove through there, uh, and I drove through. I drove through all this the day it happened, it, and then it happened that night when I came home. So we're gonna find out because I'm tired of you guys lying to me and saying stuff. You know, it is happening. So, I'm, I kind of hope this didn't happen so I can catch you in your lie. I, I kind of hope it did not happen so I can catch you in your lie. But the problem is you guys are going to say, oh, it's just fake news. They do that all the time. No. no. When they fake an Austin bomber to terrorize somebody and then everybody's laughing at him because they're trying to give him alcohol poisoning, that's called attempted murder. Till then. Uh, on long as a witness. But you tried to kill her too. That's why you gave her the China spike in a purse. Uh, I saw her. I can't believe this. Why they, why they do this to me? Why they do this? Why they do this? I said, well, well, baby, who, who, uh, who was in your purse? Why is it there? My ex-husband. He 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 get my purse earlier. I stick my hand. I was like, well, why'd you want me to put my hand? She no no never mind never mind never mind. I mean, when you're doing stuff behind the scenes and you're hurting innocent people, God, something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Because I know I've seen these videos before. Uh, this one, uh, the, the one in Yukon, I know I've seen it before. But you can make something up anytime you want. That's the problem. You can make it up anytime you want and just fake it. That's the bad problem. So I'm trying to find the one where they were at... Uh, um, uh, 24th. Oh, that's not, hey, that's, that's my video. I just put that out there for you. Uh, where is it? It was 24th. So we just looked at one of these. Uh, record number 20. Let's try this one. Brush your teeth in 30 seconds with this incredible this $89 commercial. device. This is an extremely high-tech $600. But we begin this morning with nasty weather all across the country. We're talking about snow in California, a dust bowl in Texas, and a record-breaking tornado outbreak in Oklahoma that has left tens of thousands without power. That's where Omar Villafranca is for us. Omar, good morning. What are you seeing there? Good morning. Good morning. We're getting a first-hand look at the power of this storm, and we happen to find a little vein here, a little path of destruction. Check this out behind me. You've got a red Jeep that was tossed onto another car. It's right in front of a house that's missing most of its roof. Now, this storm last night, it was loud. It was moving fast, and it was all part of a wild night of weather here on the South Plains. Everybody okay in there? Powerful tornadoes ripped across Oklahoma overnight tearing roofs off homes and flipping over trucks. All of a sudden, it like felt like, like a bomb hit outside or something. The whole house kind of shifted. At least now, I've seen that guy's face before. The I've seen that guy's face before. I have. I've seen his down. face before. Maybe it was the other day. Maybe it was the more tornado. The I don't know. I don't know. Several twisters toppled chimneys, crumpled siding. Maybe I've seen him on this video or somebody. I mean, it gets kind of confusing when you see a whole bunch of stuff over and over again, and then everybody's laughing at you. 
So let's just find a. It looks like Sam I just watched. Yeah, Sam I just watched. Jumped in the car and tried to leave, and as I'm trying to get out of my driveway, things are broken everywhere. When calmed down, she saw just how much damage there was. There were shingles every. She said she left it. She waited for me to come. Hang into the air. Chelsea Riley said. The foot. The one I saw was 24th Street. Moving fast, and it was all. Let's just find out. Hmm. Cause that's not it's not gonna be one for the non broadcast. So McLean, I mean that's that's strong hill to switch to normal Oklahoma. Let's just see if this is it. Forecasters in North Texas report that wind gusts hit more than hundred and ten miles an hour. That's equivalent to a category three hurricane. This is the scene today in central Oklahoma, the storm tearing apart homes and businesses and flipping over cars. As of this hour, nearly 50,000 customers across the region are without power. Our team is covering it from all angles. NBC News meteorologist Bill Karens is tracking the storms for us, but first... Uh, that didn't happen. I know because I watched it the other day. They said they were on 9th Highway. They were by Highway 9 and uh, 24th Street. Shine, Oklahoma. Uh, that that's from. It says more Oklahoma. Okay, maybe this is it. I don't know. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you could be using it to make up to ten. All right, the main event is right now. We set a tornado south of me and north of me. Okay, this is the main show. The problem I'm seeing is it doesn't have a date on anything. I mean, the one person said before 2011, so you know that's a, a, a more recent newscast. The problem is the Austin bomber was faked. It was faked in Austin, Texas. Is this going to be faked? Is this, I kind of hope it is. I kind of hope it is because I don't want to see something like this happen to people. But what happened in Austin, Texas is real. It was real. I saw the Bank of America. It was destroyed. Destroyed. This is what it looks like from my garage door. And people just laugh at me and smile at me like it's a joke. Like uh, we went to Cracker Barrel a couple of days ago in Gainesville and the lady just laughing, you know, smiling. And I didn't say what she wanted, so she came back and she was upset because I didn't talk to her like she was a friend. I mean, I'm kind of tired of people lying to my face, acting like they don't know who I am, trying to be my friend and then not telling the truth to save my life. So if this is real, it's your fault. Your fault for not telling the truth because the Lord God said he's going to punish you. He's going to punish you for lying. <clears throat> let's see. Off down to the we'll go right across the whole So let's go back. Where is it? I think I've already, I've already seen that one. Seen that one. I, I don't see it anymore, but it said 24th Street. It was 24th Street. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. For the damage that we've seen across the Oklahoma City area. If so, how strong were these twisters? We have uh, reports of seven twisters in Oklahoma alone. And it's been more than 10 years since a tornado hit in the month of February. So this would be quite a delivery. These tornadoes, hard to see coming as well. They were embedded. More than 10 years since in February, so that helps. The Oklahoma City suburb of Norman took a direct hit. Fox Weather's Okay, that, that's going to help us right there. So that's the area right there, right here. That's the area. Let me go back. I want to make sure, because I'm going to visit an area today, just to make sure I get right in the area where it hit, because I want to make sure that I see where the damage is. Now, there's Yukon. That one, that one had 20. Norman shows a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Now, this should be what? I-35. Yeah, that's I-35. It's right there. That's the area one go because it's right there is the Oklahoma, um, what is it? The uh, University of Oklahoma. But it's these houses that were destroyed. It's these houses, and I know the address. I saw it the other day. That's what I was trying to look for. So I'm gonna stop the video for a second. I'm gonna find it. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna splice the video in when I find the video. I don't want to run out of time. 